type of energy produced in Ireland ranges from renewables now, primarily through wind farms. Some solar are creeping in and hydroelectricity. Over the years, we've migrated into thermal fuels, being it peat, coal, oil, and most of those fuels have now moved away or off the system. And the predominant thermal fuel is gas-fired power stations. We have close to a thousand people working in the generation division. Every day we're trading 30 or 40 assets into the market. Vast quantities of data being produced and analyzed every day. And how we deploy data going forward has huge potential for our business. Across generation and trading, uh, before we had RTV, people had to look um, for this information across a number of different sources, both internal and external, maybe log on to different systems, and it took a lot of time, and it was also difficult maybe to get that one source of, of truth for the data. RTV is um, a really, really useful tool. It's a simple visualisation of all the energy assets in uh, across the island of Ireland. It shows the market price, what's happening in the market, and uh, what renewables there are in the system. So it's a really great view across the whole generation market. In the short term, RTV has given a really good view and allowed anybody in the company to, to understand the current dynamics in the electricity market. The main point though is really how they've been able to visualise it and bring such a volume of data together in a really simple, easy to understand format. It's being used now to, to showcase what we can do across the organisation and we are using those learnings in other areas and we will hopefully roll out similar tools in other departments. Climate change is, is the big challenge facing the world today. ESB has set a very challenging target of net zero by 2040. It's about decarbonising the system and ultimately it's about the effective use of our existing plants on the system. The real-time visualisation tool allows us to see days ahead how we deploy our power stations so that we can minimise the amount of carbon that's being produced in any day or week. So effectively that tool is an aid, it's a decision aid for our managers in how we manage our systems. I think the biggest single impact of this technology and division is information. It's allowed managers everywhere in this building, far remote from the front line, if you like, of our power stations to understand and to manage what's actually happening real time in our business. The RTV tool, I suppose, has been a really nice signpost of what the future will look like. And most of all, if I was to say one thing about its benefit is from top to bottom of the organisation, it's given confidence. Confidence that we can deploy the tools, but also confidence on the quality of the tools and the difference that they can make.